Yeah, hi everyone. Jason here, Robert Long Miles Australia. Um, today we're going to have a quick video, hopefully it's a quick video, uh, on just getting the connection to your Motion Luber uh, to your app or to your account. Um, so this Luber that's on the table here now is a Luber 1000 or an all-wheel drive 1000. Uh, it's straight out of the box, it's never been connected to an account. Um, so we're going to run through connecting it to an account, show you the correct way to do it, um, and if we come across any issues we'll work through those as we go. Uh, the reason why I'm really taking this video is pure and simply about probably nearly 20% I'd say of our customers have some kind of issue trying to get their get their Bluebeers connected to Wi-Fi. So just to bang on about it like I always do, um, but you know the biggest reason uh, to purchase these uh, units from a dealer rather than online um, or on, from a from a big box store or directly even directly from the manufacturer um, is to try and get the support that you that you really need so you can actually call someone when you have these kind of issues. But, uh, but we're just going to run through very quickly, um, connect this one uh, to my account and, uh, and hopefully, we'll, uh, hopefully we'll have no issues along the way. So first thing is the manual. Uh, the manual that comes with the Lubers, it really is quite good. It's not, not a bad manual. Um, on the second page in, there is, sorry, the third page in, um, there is this page here which has got a whole bunch of 2D matrices here. Um, one to the user manual, which again is quite good. I really do recommend that you do download it and read it thoroughly um, and, and step through the installation process one step at a time and it should be okay. Uh, you've also got links to the iOS app and the Android app so you can download those directly to your phone. So <clears throat> when connecting it uh, to your device, um, the first thing you want to do is obviously open up your app. Now I'll throw my app up on the screen now. The moment now if you log into your app, then basically if, it's got, if you've got no Lubers connected, you're gonna see the screen that's up there right now, which just says add Luber. Um, if you do have a Luber connected already, there'll already be one there like that. Um, and then you just swipe to the left uh, and it will bring up that screen to, to add a new Luber, okay? Um, so the first thing you wanna do is install your orange key, which is this guy here. Um, you get two of those with the Luber when, it, when, you, when you get it and it inserts into the back of the Luber just here. There's a little slot there. Um, you don't really need to see what I'm actually doing here because it really is quite simple. But you put the key in, press it all the way in, and then turn Luber on. So turning Luber on is a simple case of just pressing and holding the power button for about five seconds until it beeps. Two, three, four, five. And it beeps and the lights come on on each side. And also there's a little green light right at the front there. People talk about this quite a lot in forums and that. A little tiny green light at the front there. That's the only way you can actually tell that Luber is, is turned on, is to make sure that that little green light actually is, is on. So once you've got the, uh, once it's turned on and sitting there, you can press the add Luber button on the app. So I'll press that now. Add Luber and it says searching for Luber. Hopefully it finds Luber. There we go, so it's found found the Luber, um, and then it's also asking you for your for your Wi-Fi details. Now, to connect these guys, what you, you, you want a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal because it'll, it'll travel much further. So you def, definitely want to connect these guys to a 2.4 gigahertz. I don't believe they will even connect to a 5 gigahertz. I've never actually physically tried. It doesn't say anything in the manual about them not connecting to 5 gigahertz, but I believe they will only connect to a 2.4. Um, Select the Wi-Fi from the menu that you want there. Get, get, get the Wi-Fi that's got a nice strong signal. And this is where it's a little bit important. You really do want a very strong Wi-Fi signal when setting these guys up. So if you don't have a strong Wi-Fi signal outside, take the Luber inside, put it right next to your modem and set it up right next to the modem so you've got the strongest signal possible. Now, so I'll go through here and I'll put my password in here. Okay. And we go next. Okay, so Luba added successfully. We press the finish button, and we now have that Luba on our app. Okay, so it's going to try and go through. I was, was just trying to go through and do, a, um, do a, a, a systems check when it's on the base station. Now when they do a systems check, if they do get there, um, you need the, the, antenna, the, the RTK antenna needs to be installed, turned on, base station installed, turned on, and a robot on the base station charging. 
uh, for it to pass that. So now we're going to look at upgrading the firmware. So we press upgrade firmware, which is going to happen to just about every luber out of the box. You're going to have to upgrade the firmware uh, once it, when, when it gets out of the box. Tells you what the update actually is, and you click the one-click upgrade down the bottom there, and let it go through and actually do its update. You know, generally, when they are doing their update, I like to just set, set the phone directly on top of the Luba, just to make sure you've got the absolute best connection between your phone and Luba, uh, and leave it there until such time as it's been updated. Uh, and I'll speed this up a little bit, I'll tell you how long it actually took um, after, it, uh, after it's finished. It doesn't take that long, but it's sort of you know, in that five minute range. Okay, so that's gone through and done. Um, so we'll press the done button. And uh, that's Luba ready to go. So we now have we now have Luba's in the app. And um, that's Luba restarting there now. So it's just, just gone through and restarted after the update. Ready to go. Again, the green light at the front there is on. Um, so you can see that Luba is still on and the firmware's update's done. Once you install this robot, put it on its base station, um, it's good to go. So, like I said guys, most, you know, a lot of the time it is straightforward as that, it operates and, and connects just perfectly, um, but we have, like I said, around about 20% of our customers um, end up coming back for some kind of advice uh, to get these robots connected to their, to their, to their account. And that's the same for all robot lawnmowers territory, there's not just Luba. Um, we also get countless call calls from people that have actually purchased uh, directly from Emotion or from Amazon uh, asking for, uh, for advice on exactly the same thing. Um, so unfortunately we do turn those people away. Um, but I just can't stress enough that when you do purchase any of these robot mowers um, is that you really, really need to purchase from someone that can give you the advice that you need uh, if you need it and when you need it. Um, so that's it guys. Um, like always, uh, if you need to get in contact with us, uh, email us at sales at robotlawnmowers.com.au um, You can check out our Facebook page and uh, yeah, see what we've got on our socials there. Uh, so just look for Robot Lawnmowers Australia on any of the socials. Um, or you can uh, check out a whole bunch of information that we've got on our website. Just, just, uh, just type in www.robotlawnmowers.com.au Thanks for watching.